Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Pharmacy International. As I promised you guys that I will upload a video that is related to my own project report which I did during my fifth year of PharmD. So without wasting any time, let's get started. If you are new to my channel, just let me introduce myself. I have done my PharmD in 2018 and I have made umpteen, not umpteen actually, four or five videos regarding P, uh, regarding PharmD and I am on the way to make more and more videos and in the previous video I have explained something related to the guidelines for the project report and now I am explaining you about my own project report and uh, simultaneously what I am doing actually I am preparing for my pharmacy related examination so I have uploaded numerous videos related to foreign pharmacy licensing examinations that is like for Canada, USA and for Australia. So if you are new to my channel and you haven't seen those videos, you are most welcome to visit the channel to see all those videos. So the title of my particular project report is Pharmacogenetic Profile of Hypertensive Patients with Coronary Artery Disease. I have done my project in pharmacogenetics with Enos gene. Inos is one of the genes which is related to coronary artery disease or you can say atherosclerosis. So that was my main topic, uh, pharmacogenetic profile of hypertensive patients, those are with coronary artery disease. Now come to the, you can say first part which you people have to do, obviously there are some certifications and these certifications are like declaration by candidate. For example, I have declared before going for this particular project that I haven't done this particular project anywhere before, neither I will do the same in my upcoming examinations or any of the upcoming study routine. Next is acknowledgement. In this particular acknowledgement, you can acknowledge all the person whomsoever you want to, like whatsoever they have done for you and you just want to thank to them. So you can acknowledge all those names in this particular acknowledgement letter. I thank to all the professors who helped me during my project report and apart from the professors which who were from my particular pharmacy department, there were two particular teachers or you can say professors which were not from the pharmacy department. As I told you, my project was somehow related to pharmacogenetics. So there were two professors who were from biotech department or you can say they helped me a lot during my DNA extraction process. So I thank to those people as well. So basically you can acknowledge anyone whosoever helped you during your particular project report. For me, chapter one was introduction. Basically in introduction, you have to explain everything related to your particular project. Like in my case, my project was related to hypertension, coronary artery disease and pharmacogenetic profile. So I have to explain everything about hypertension, coronary artery disease and Enos gene as well. So it's all about introduction part. It's quite lengthy part, but uh, this is all you have to mention and your teacher or your particular instructor will help you to go all through these steps. Okay. Chapter two is literature review. In literature review, you have to explain everything related to the previously published data and you have to explain how this is related to your particular project and how you are going to conclude something from those particular previously published articles and what you are you are going to do for your particular project report so this is all about project uh, literature review now chapter 3 is aim and objectives uh, my aim of the study was to present study is to investigate the pharmacogenetic profile of Enos gene for coronary artery disease in hypertensive patients and to correlate genetic findings. Another one was to find out the risk factors which are involved for occurrence of CAD and to calculate risk for the cardiovascular event in the future. The third aim and objective was to counsel the patient about management of their diseases and their drug therapy which is prescribed by the physician. So this is all about my aim and objective. After aim and objective, next is research methodology. And in research methodology, you have to explain something. For example, place of study, when you will you have get ethical approval, period of your study, study design for example mine was prospective case control study 
uh, whether it's a hospital based pharmacy based or where you are doing your study so for me my case it was hospital based subject recruitment how i did recruitment of my subjects what was my selection criteria like age gender and you can say inclusion criteria exclusion criteria as i told you my particular project is related to uh, pharmacogenetics so i have to take the blood sample so how i took the sample what is the patient profile form what is the risk calculation so this is all about the uh, research and methodology and here i explained about all the explanation of dna extraction as well so you have to explain each and everything what you are going to do for your particular project i explained everything about dna extraction like how much blood i took how i transfer that particular blood into the centrifugation tube and all so this is all about the processes which i do which i did actually i explained everything about genotyping as in my case the for forward primer what was the forward primer what was the reverse primer so i explained all those genotyping related to inos gene so this is all about the research and methodology which i did and i have to explain not only i myself everyone whatsoever you are doing in your project report you have to explain everything related to research and methodology next is result and conclusion or you can say discussion actually so in result i explained about my demographic representation like out of those many patients who were female how many were female and how many were the male like i explained them and i differentiated them according to the gender then whether they were outpatients or inpatients whether they had a cardiovascular disease or not in like they had a history of cv or not age wise prevalence means uh, which particular age have more prevalence of cad i explain that thing then i explain disease development i explained about smoking whether smoking was a risk factor for cad or not i explained about uh, genetic polymorphism uh, everything about the genetic polymorphism I will show one picture of genetic polymorphism with you guys. I differentiated the CAD with the some diagnostic tests like ECG, 2D echo, CPK MB. So I explained here in result and discussion that how many patients got uh, the ECG as a parameter to diagnose, how many patient got 2D echo and all. I explained about drugs classification means which drugs are more of the or you can say which drugs were commonly prescribed to those particular patients like explain the drug classifications used in that particular disease risk calculation as i told you that i did uh, the framingham risk score so i explained everything about the framingham risk score and i explained how many patients were there at high risk intermediate risk or low risk so this is all about my result and discussion the last part is uh, conclusion and in conclusion whatsoever results are there like in my case whatsoever results were there i have to make a conclusion according to those results so this is all about the conclusion where i explained everything which i got from my result my research methodology and from every practical work so these are some of the last pages like a patient profile form one more thing i want to tell you that patient consent form was uh, in hindi as well as in english so some of the patients may not be that much literate that they can understand english so i did the same in hindi as well So that's all about my particular project that I chose during my fifth year of PharmD. It's not necessary that everyone should have some practical work that I had. Like in my case, there was practical work. I had to go to the uh, particular pharmacology lab or biotechnology lab in order to get the extraction of DNA. So it's not necessary that everyone will get the 
प्रोजेक्ट रिपोर्ट और प्रोजेक्ट इन विच देयर विल बी अ प्रैक्टिकल वर्क सो यू कैन चूज एनी ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट बट द गाइडलाइंस विच आर देयर टू चूज द प्रोजेक्ट हाउ टू डू वेन टू डू वट टाइप ऑफ सेमिनार आर देयर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ऑल दोज थिंग्स इन वन ऑफ माई वीडियोज दैट इज रिलेटेड टू गाइडलाइंस फॉर द फार्म डी प्रोजेक्ट सो यू आर वेलकम टू विजिट दैट पर्टिकुलर वीडियो एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो एनी अदर थिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो यू कैन कमेंट मी और यू कैन मैसेज मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एज वेल एज ऑन फेसबुक थैंक यू